Whoops. Probably marked. It's not highlighting anything over here. There's guy playing cards, there's woman playing cards, there's old man and cards. I'm going to take the cards. Hey, they can cheat, you can't. Let's talk to old man Dr. first. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Who are you then? Where am I? How do I get out of here? And, well, I've got a lot of rotting in jail to do, so, you know. Bite a dick. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. Huh. Hmm. Nice to meet you. Where, Where am I? Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. I like his chair. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? What's this about a I'd human like tickets. Show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. Weird Ved Edison. Why oh, he got weird in front of his nerve? Best not bother them, they're busy cheating. Best not bother them, they're busy cheating. What's in the old inventory? Scalpel. She's a... Um, medical student. Now, why would I want to ruin the only entertainment these poor, wretched humans have? Kicks? <laughs> I don't think killing an old man will help. Yet I can't kill my fellow inmates. I don't even know them yet. She's all right. Seems all right about it, though. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I thought I'd keep trying. Oh, yeah. It's got... There's no fucking highlight. I was thinking that was it, just that bit in that room there, but... Yeah, you can talk to the tentacle over there. Guy. What? Get me out of here, this is a violation of my rights. I have to go to the bathroom and I don't feel so good. Get me out of here! This is a violation of my rights. Rights? You're a human, you don't have any rights. I gotta go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Take his chair with him. <laughs> yeah, I get to do my business. She's happy about it. What a shabby paint job. Uh, just. Oh, okay. Talk to window. Hello. Fair Anybody enough. Nobody's down there. I'm just make sure I couldn't scroll it. It's attached to the chronogon. It's attached to the chronogon. Just plug a window? I think it'd take a longer period. Ah. 
Need an extension. I can't. My therapist and I have an agreement. <laughs> open window? It's already open. Close window? I'd rather leave it open. Use window? I'm too big to fit through. Look at window? I can see Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. An extension cord to throw into the window. But where? <laughs> yeah, no care in the world. Looks bored. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? It's about time. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Of course it's Dr. Tentacle. He's got a little lab coat and everything. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, <laughs> now hold still. Are you going to use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. <laughs> Boy, you give hey. me some time in here. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Here we go. What, what? Technical chart? Diploma. Take that diploma. I shouldn't. He paid a lot of money for that. Take that diploma? I shouldn't. Ah. He paid a lot of money for that. I still don't understand how they can eat through a sucker. Whip! It's mine now. <laughs> the fucking oh, human anatomy thing. Stick man. <laughs> Got the spleen mixed up with the liver. Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. License to treat tentacles for the betterment of the tentacle race. License to euthanize humans <laughs> for the betterment of the tentacle race. So I've got everything in here that I'd want. It wouldn't be as much fun as the real <laughs> thing. Oh, here we go, I just fucking released. No, I'll go back that way. Go out. Hold it. I'll be busted. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. <laughs> uh Zed? I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day. You? Um, yeah, Ooh, that feels so good. I don't feel so good. Get released again. again. But don't go around that way. Person in tutu. Smiling people. Funny if I was again. <laughs> Into the kennel. No. Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there. That was the wrong place to go. I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. You who? I have to. No, go not to the bathroom. bathroom. I don't, go. Oh, right. I don't feel well. Wait a minute, is there something? Oh, right, here we go. I don't feel so good. Let's just give after a while, but there we go. Right, fair enough. Right, into there. But not into 
Not into the kennel? Wait a minute. Went to the kennel last time. I didn't go in this door, did I? Aha! The Recyclotron. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. What's this? Microwave. It has three settings. Cook, jet defrost, and mutilate beyond recognition. Get some good eggs out of that. <laughs> well, if I weren't going to say it, somebody in the comments was. <laughs> I bet he put his eggs in that microwave if he could. It was something like that. I just beat him to it. It's already open. I don't think I've got anything I want to put in there yet. I still don't understand how they... I'd rather not. No, okay. Alright, green hole. Remove specimen here. Ooh, specimen. Remove specimen here. White the hole. label is hard to read, but I think it says something about a rhesus monkey. Hmm. What? She fucking zoomed up to look at that. It says medulla oblongator. <laughs> oh, open the cabinet first. No goodies in there. It's an empty storage cabinet. No goodies in the dryer. Mm, it's empty. Ooh, I wonder if I could get the... Oh, no, you can't use the slot. I said the dime from Bernard. And put that in there. It's really busted up. It's busted up good. Oh, it's starting to bottom out. Don't know things to do with um, Laverne at all. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacle, it has no door. Well, shit. Wait a minute. Did I ever go in there? Wing jump! Ooh. Not open flag. Pick up flag. No way could I reach that. Hmm. What crank box? The crank is missing. Hmm. Need a crank. Need a crank. Ah, restart. There's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there anyway? Yeah, only way to get up here is to story drop to the showroom floor. Only way to get up here is to do like some kind of fucking Mario two hold down for a few seconds and jump up the fucking chimney. It's as open as it gets. Hey, a blue tentacle. Hi, I'm La. Ooh, you are one ugly human. Excuse me? <laughs> Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest Homo sapien I've ever seen. Are you trying to tell me something? Thanks. You ain't so hot yourself. Hold on, I feel like I'm about to sock you. And, well, I must be on my ugly way. Are you trying to tell me something? Yeah, you're a real wolf. I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth. Well, you're blue and green, you're not complimentary. Is bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. It's a little dick, innit? I guess I'd better just go shoot myself then. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do that. We have staff here that can do that for you. The doctor monitoring the human show, in fact, is a specialist in the field. Human show? Hot dang, sign me up. Human show? How degrading, you should be ashamed. Human show? Human schmo. Who needs it? Well, I gotta go arrange your death now. Human show? Hot dang, sign me up. Sorry, Damn. they can't sign themselves up, no matter how ugly they are. Go ask your owner to sign you up. Ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it. <laughs> um... Uh, the guard guy wants to see you in the kennel. 
He said to just leave all your stuff here. Yeah, sounds good. Which guard? What's his name? I told you, the guard guy. Ken. I don't know. I usually call him Mr. Tentacle Guy. I don't know. I usually call him Mr. Tentacle Guy. What a coincidence. That's my name. <laughs> really? Of course not. Now beat it. I've got a lot of standing around to do. Um... I'll ruin the show for everybody if you don't let me in. You'd ruin it for everybody <laughs> if I did. Don't bitch this guy. When's the show going to start? We're still waiting for one more human to fill the last stall. I'll fill it. With what? Don't answer that. <laughs> Fireplace. Oh yeah. When's the show going oh, to start? Just... We're still. Yeah, yeah. Um, could I register another human Did for I the show? Can I register another human for the show? You can't do anything. You're a human. This is a tentacles world. Don't you get it? Only tentacles can own property, only tentacles can vote, and only tentacles can register humans in the show. Well, told me. Is it too late to register for the human show? For you, much, much too late. Right, okay, okay. Tentacle chat? I'd rather not. Scalpel the bitch, fucking Oz style. I can't. My therapist and I shank the fucking bitch. I think it's a picture of purple tentacle. <laughs> Claire likes the ferns run. <laughs> Meanwhile, tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up. Like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. <laughs> Talks a little bit behind him there. Like that's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. Humophiles? I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now let me tell you about a little plan I have. So, the best thing it seems I've got access to at the moment is that flag for Hoga, but it needs a crank. Yeah, I think it it triggers with um. Ooh. Oh, no, oh no! Wait a minute, that's that's dog's place that I come from. Is it? Fair enough. But in that fuck this guy here, the guard triggers. I talk to these lot. Hi, hey my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. Oh, the thoroughbred Harold. That's quite the tutu you've got there. Is your hair naturally blue? Oh, it's more of a teal. <laughs> That's that, that shit. <laughs> what are you, um, guys waiting for? Hold that far, I got a buggy. That's, That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Where is your owner? Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. I learned. Is your hair naturally is blue? Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? Oh gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the hair competition in the bag. What are you waiting for? What well, you, you kind of already answered that, didn't I? The owners. For? We're all waiting for the human show to begin. Well, of same if your difference. If owner's going to enter you, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. 
I'm the most beautiful human there is. Oh. Well then, good luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? Not the smiling people. Hi. Oh. Hi. About we push the smiling people. That might get a rise out of them, but I don't want to attract too much attention. I doubt if I could budget. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. Boy, I wish I had a tentacle costume or something. Ah. Uh, I can't even see. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. All I know is well. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You who, Mr. I remember. Guy. What? I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. I think you can get out anywhere. Hold it. Nah. Hold it. Not allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I'm gonna go to Betsy Ross with the um, tentacle thing and she'll make it into a flag which she'll yeah. use as a tentacle costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you need the, the, the crank as well, yeah. One thing at once. Uh, you have to go to the bathroom. I don't do a business! Oh, right. Business! business. Yeah. I don't do a business! Yeah. 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 Come on. Here we go. The first flushing. Okay, I flushed it. And two Sir Hugs. Nope. That's Bernard. There we go. Oh, wait a minute, it's over here. Oh, what colour was she? Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, it's blue, isn't it? Oh, no, it's a different. It's teal. Teal, blue, and green. There we go. I suspect that took a lot longer the first time to figure that out. Like when I was playing the game back in the first time, I don't think I figured it out quite that quick. <laughs> I think she was in the second door? Not the first door with the maid, the second door? Yeah. yeah. So we get the tentacle chart on there. There we go. Perfect. Problem is though, we don't have a crank to actually reel it in. Yeah. I wonder if it's burner time. Yeah, you haven't really explored. I done fuck all with Bernard. Hey, Dr. Fred. We have to do something. It's a bit late for that, man. What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit. No power for the chronogons. A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world. It's a dark day for mad science. Why can't we just fix the time machine? It needs a whole new diamond. Now where am I going to get the money? Bexo? How much could it possibly cost? And I thought you were rich. Oh, hey, I know. Let's put on a show in the old barn. <laughs> I like the idea of a bake sale. Bake sale? It will smell great. Do you realize how much a diamond costs? Two months of the groom's salary? <laughs> Two million dollars! So, you've got money, don't you? Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet. Uh. If only I had signed that contract in time. What contract? What TV show about you and... I'll find the money somewhere, but no, what, what contract? contract? Well, after that incident where I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make <laughs> by a, a show about us, but they didn't pay us anything. Oh! All we got was a cut of the video. Yeah, yeah, from the first wow, game, uh, Maniac Mansion. Yes, it's a cool Easter egg I in this game, actually. I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. 
there's the entire like in case you don't know maniac mansion is the um the first game before this and you can play the entire first game which i won't be doing by the way you can play the entire first game on a computer upstairs entire entire game is you know as if you had it yeah it's, it's quite a nice easter egg I think it's one of the first and only instances I can think of where the f the, the, the first game in a series is in the second game in its entirety. They should have done a third one and put this game where you could also play the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like, uh, another Day of the Tentacle game and on a computer somewhere you can play Day of the Tentacle, this one. Which you can get upstairs in here and play Maniac Mansion on one of the computers. Yeah. We need to go more levels deep. Um, let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. We have to do something. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. How's the mad scientist, Buzz? Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. I forgot the combination. But that's... That's so stupid, Dr. Fred. <laughs> I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the oh, safe. Oh, I remember this. I find something horrible inside and slam it shut. Over and over again, night after night. Is that why you drink so much coffee? Decaf. I haven't slept in two years. No, I think that's what you do. I think he switches coffee for decaf. And he falls asleep and starts sleepwalking. You've got a kind of... Well, I think you can watch him on CCTV or something like that. It's coming back. It's coming back. <laughs> I I'm sure there's more steps involved than that, but you know. We have to do something. Yeah, yeah. We have to do something. Yes, we have to get a new diamond. What if we unpollute the river? How about catching purple tentacle? What if we unpollute the river? I could just shut off my sludgeomatic machine, but it's too late. You have a machine whose sole function is producing toxic waste. You can't have a high-tech laboratory like this and not spew poisonous filth. All the other mad <laughs> scientists would laugh. How about catching Purple Tentacle? He's long gone, probably taking over the world as we speak. How? English, I guess. Isn't there anything we can do? <laughs> Go diamond shopping. <laughs> that was too yeah, that's I've taken over the world. <laughs> Claire I like that. You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. I like how it almost heard said like how the fuck is he Coffee taking over getters. the world? That's how maybe you should switch to decaf. <laughs> right there. No, then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. <laughs> How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. Oh. Call me when you get a diamond. Hey, Dr. Fred. Call me when you get a diamond. Well, I think I already turned that off, didn't I? It's back on now. Oh, turn it off. There, it's off. But it's too late now. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. I mean, an hamster. See, little bits and bobs. I can remember. It's been a lot. Like I said, I completed it. But it was... Uh, it t Like, Adventure Games back in day took a long time. He didn't just beat them in, like, a day. He didn't beat them in a week. Some of them took fucking months of just slowly chipping away at it. And, um, like I said, I did complete it, but it was only once. Dark Passenger, and um, like it was back in the day, a hell of a long time ago, so I'm getting little flashes of certain bits and bobs, but... Ooh! Ooh, the clown, I need a scalpel. Hey, boy, you missed the party! Ben Franklin. You and the clown were having a party? No, no, last night! At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention! I tell you, we novelty good salesmen know how to have a good time. Has anyone ever told you, like, um, Donna Mesh? Unfortunately, I don't get that reference, but never mind. 
<laughs> nice cigars. So where is everybody? Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Amici? Amici, not me. That's strange. My wife says I look like King Charles the First. So, want a cigar? Yeah. Sure. Lay one of those Havana babies on me. Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Don't be, sure, don't be like that. Sure. Lay one of those Havana babies. Be cool. On me. <laughs> Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! <laughs> Fucking loaded to him shit. Yeah, I'm about to say, I bet it's got a classic animation for it. You shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. Did a really good job with it. All they do is just add some little that extra details. Me up every time. Like, it's hard to see, like, it'd be hard to see flies buzzing around on the table there with all old food. You had a little fly in there. Put a label on something over there. Yeah, still a job, man. What we got then? Cigar lighter? Can I take that? Hands off, boy! That's a precision made novelty device! Not yet. Not about distracting him. Disgusting mounds of party garbage. I don't even want to touch that gun. I don't even want to touch that gun. I don't even want to touch that junk. Look at the battle teeth. Oh, off he goes. Looks like they all escaped. Get him. Wait a minute. No use in doing that. It's empty. Get him. Where's he going? Oh, dude, run out of the room. He fucking did, didn't he? Right, pick up chapter and teeth. I can't get hold of it. Wh why? Jumpy little sucker. <laughs> I remember this. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that clown. I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Grating. Air conditioning, I guess. Can we open it? We can open it. What's in there? Ooh, maybe we can chase them in there. Jumpy little sucker. Can't get him out of there. Let's. Oh, he's, he's coming around. There we go. We got him. We got him on the run. Oh, oh, there we go. Whip. Jumpy little sucker. He fucking hates them, doesn't he? I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Hey, oh, got forks. Oh, wait, can you use the fork on him? Microwave, open microwave. No, yeah. I'm not touching it. No? These models have a history of leaking. Oh my god. Can you use fork to touch it? I'd rather not. No, probably not. I'm not touching it. Whoops. Spacebar went to that. These models have a history of leakage. I'm just trying to skip the fucking dialogue. What we got? Decaf and regular... Hey, oh. Pick up decaf and pick up regular coffee. And if we put... Decaf on the left side... No, wait. Pick up decaf. Use decaf. Never mix, never worry. Never mix, never worry. Never mix, never worry. Just put regular coffee back on there. Oh, it always puts it back to the same spot. Maybe because you're saying don't mix them, maybe you need to have like a third container. Yeah. Yeah, I think close onto um onto right answer there. Like you need. You're saying, like, don't mix them, yeah, you need another container to be able to mix them through. Well, hopefully there's something in this one. Aha, funnel. Let us take funnel. Coin slot. We'll open that first. For sale, cats. Four legs, two eyes and one head. 
It's a perfect cut. It's a perfect cut. This is as open as it gets. So what would I want to put in there? I mean, I could put the coin in. It only takes quarters. Yeah, but I got a dime. Man, man, what? what? Dude, dude, right. Swiss hunt, uh, bank book. Never even looked at that. Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, right. For one thing, one thing at once. Right. I believe if I go back to Laverne, I can put my scalpel into the chronojon. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's try the fork first. This fork couldn't pop a spit bubble, let alone a tough clown. Sorry. It couldn't pop a spit bubble, let alone a tough fucking badass like Uzo. Fork with dime. It's really stuck to the floor. Hmm, how about fork with thick bath? I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I doubt the tipex would work on the dime, would it? I'll try it when I come back. See, Claire says maybe the tipex. Or maybe you could just steal his coffee and don't fill it with I doubt you can just steal a man's coffee. For a start, it's not right, and secondly, I think he'll know. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. Get away from that! Yeah. Fair enough. No man worth his salt's gonna let you just steal his coffee. No, I shouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> let us stab this bitch. <laughs> I um can pick that up. It's bad enough to carry the weight of his death on my <laughs> conscience. Oh my god, the items it's starting to build up. The voice of Uzo in a box. What the fuck? It doesn't seem to open. What the fuck am I gonna do with that? Right, so what have we got going off now? Wait a minute. Let's try to go to the fireplace. <laughs> Ah! Aha! Uh -huh. This was what I was on a minute ago, wasn't it? Like, trying to fucking find the crank and shit. Here we go. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> if you just left it there. Oh, no, no, no. It was in the future, though, wasn't it? Yeah. But it's not in the past, because it's not been built yet. I mean, oh, I don't know. No, no, no. In the future, the crank's not there. Yeah. Yeah, in the future. The not even there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's not there in the future because you've taken it now. Time. Oh, make me run all the way out you? What the fuck? Wait, where are you getting the crank on the other one there? Yeah. Ah, you're right. Ah, oh, you're already there. You're already there. That was perfect. La 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. Well, now. You who is. I don't feel so good. That's what I don't feel so good. Again. And do a super jump up here. Wait, can't use the great. Oh, fuck. It's not highlighting anything now because I'm in a scene. I did actually pick up the crank, didn't I? Yeah. Well, she's got no items? Fucking hell. Use the crank. And take the flag. And let us use the flag. Perfect. <laughs> Indistinguishable. Right, see if this fucking cold ass bitch over here talks to me differently. Hello, I'm a tentacle. <laughs> I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Has she got the lingo down? Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrants will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best land. Ah. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very <laughs> useful. Oh, uh, thank you. 
believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good looking <laughs> When's the show going to start, my inhuman comrade? Just as soon as we get enough humans in the lobby with their tags on. Okay, okay. Don't think there's anything in here. No, I've got the tag right. So, one of the Fred family? Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe <laughs> like you to a dump like this? I'm, uh, I'm here to see you, big boy. Don't you recognize me? I'm looking for a pet, and I'm here by accident. Bye, I got a bit first one. I'm uh, here to see you, big boy. Really? Well, what are you doing for dinner? How about Club Tentacle? It would be Club uh, what Tentacle. What am I saying? I can't afford to take out the trash, let alone a classy babe like you. <sighs> Don't you recognize me? Uh, no, I, uh... Hey, aren't you the waitress from Club Tentacle? I love that place. I'd be there right now if I weren't flat broke. I'm looking for a pet. I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey. You came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Ha! <laughs> you losers can't even ride tricycles. See why no one wants them as pets? I'm looking for a pet. Question him again. I told you, you don't want these humans as pets. And I don't want to be no pet, so... No. Yeah. I'm looking for a pet. I told you, you don't want these humans as pets. Ah, your mama. Oh, I'll keep trying. I'm oh looking God. for a pet. I told you, you don't want these humans as pets. Yeah, well, I got your pet right <laughs> here, buddy. I got your pet right here, buddy. I'm looking for a pet. I told you, you don't want these humans as pets. Fight me, tentacle. Keep trying. I'm looking for a pet. I told you you don't want these humans as pets. I told you you don't want these go, humans as tentacles. Whatever. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. You don't have one. <laughs> I'm looking for a pet. I told you you don't want these humans as pets. Man, I wish my ancestors oh my had God. Ever invented you guys. I told you you don't want these humans as pets. I'm looking for a pet. I told you, you don't want these humans as pets. Yeah, well, I... Okay, 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 let's have a try. I'm here by accident. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. You can't talk to me about being in there. Get away from that. That's my job. Hmm... Well, let's explore around. Cause I should be able to go upstairs now. Or even open the clock here. I'll talk to him in a minute. Sorry, I'm under strict orders from Tentacle Number One, the Almighty Elder, the Grand Puma, Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. <laughs> and a darned attractive one, I might add. <laughs> But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. You heard the man escape. You're talking to the wrong people. We like it here. We are celebrities. <laughs> so what, he let you get past them? Oh, he does, okay. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. <laughs> Um, that ice looks incredibly old. You see, I've explored fully around with Hoagie, but I've not explored fully around with Laverne yet, and I ain't gone upstairs with Bernard. The fuck? Just 
like rapid fire bite of nails. I can't do it with my bare hands. I wonder what you would need to open it's that. A dented old can. There's a plaque here about it. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. A candelabra. I would like to take it. Someone seems to have <laughs> bolted it to the table. <laughs> Voice I did then. I don't want it. Right, so I need something to open that motherfucker up. The can opener. Yeah. Mean whilst. What do you suppose happened to Hamilton and Madison? Yes, I'm certain we told them to come on Thursday. I'll wager Madison's with that woman who makes the cupcakes again, and Hamilton's probably gotten himself into another fight. I bet they show up late and take all the credit for our work. Ooh, a, little, a little bit of smoke there, I saw it. A little bit of wind and smoke in that leaf always gets me. Beautiful. Beautiful leaf. Oh shit's coming together. Got a can opener, it's going to that toilet. I mean I could explore around and find some other shit, but may as well do it as a fucking see it and figure it. And now with my amazingly good disguise. Hey up. You see him then? You see him then? Mr. Cat! What a shabby painting. There's a cat that there he is! He just fucking popped out. I think I think Con stuck. He was scratching his back on the fence, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to pick up can opener in toilet. That is about the only time I would say or do that. To be fair, I've not actually seen many can openers in toilets. What is he doing? This is my human. Can't get close to him. Hmm, when are we gonna get close to him? Spaghetti? All cats love spaghetti. I, I didn't see that plaque before. This 400 year old clock is an amusing example of primitive human timekeeping. Fair enough. Use can opener on capsule. Swift and efficient. It's already open. Well then use it! No. I can't pick it up. Well, look inside then. It's a dented old can. Well, what the fuck? I don't think I can put it back the way it was. Use time. What'd you. Well, shit! Put something in it in the past so it appears in the future. I don't know why you'd want to do that though, because you've just got the fucking problem. I mean, that is true, yeah. Or at least maybe get Jefferson to put something in it. That you, maybe you can't put anything in it, but maybe, Jeff maybe Jefferson's got something that you want that you can put in there. Yeah. It's that guy from the Hawaiian cop show. Bernard might like it, but it's way too tacky for me. <laughs> no time to relax. I'm trying to save the it's world. It's been around a long time, that motherfucker. Oh, I want the extension cord. <laughs> Whip! I want those roll skates as well. <laughs> the roll skates. I want it all. I want the level lamp too. No way. Those things are dangerous. No. A little, but still great. Not my style. Classy. It's quite classy. What an interesting mannequin. Hello, my silent gauze-wrapped friend. 
I've got to get power to my chronogon. I'm concerned about the human sure. And do you think it's strange me talking to a mummy? I've got to get power to my chronogon. I guess I could wait for a lightning storm. I'm concerned about the human show. I'm concerned about the human show. Is it really moral? Where am I going to find a human to enter? What do you think they do with humans afterwards? What do you think they do with the humans afterwards? Uh, probably just take them home. I hope it's not like at that cake bake off or something. Or maybe they sell them to science. Maybe they sell them to science. <laughs> um, do you think it's strange me do talking to a mummer? I don't know why I'm exhausted in the dialogue. I don't think he's going to say anything. I mean, you've not been able to talk back and so forth. It's not so different from talking to specimens at med school. It's not so different from talking to guys at med school. <laughs> It's not so different from talking to guys at med school. Except for the bandages. Except you probably know more than most of them. Except you dress better than they do. Except even you dress better than they do. My, those are nice clothes you're wearing. My, those are nice clothes you're wearing. All that white really gets to me. My grandmother has a couch covered in that material. And is that what well-dressed... Sorry, is that what well-dressed Egyptians wore? All that white really gets to me. There's, There's something, something else about, else the, human show. about the human show. Where am I going to find a Maybe this guy will do. Enter? Um, most of the humans have probably entered already. I don't think I can get the Edisons out of jail in time. I've got to wear the costume and be the tentacle. And hmm. Most of the humans are probably entered already. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just to make sure. Hello, my silent gauze wrapped friend. I'm concerned about the. Let's go back to the other dialogue show. option. Where am I going to find a human to enter? I think it was just a clue. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I really should go now. Call me sometime, okay? Can't I put roller skates on him? Yeah, he remembers. <laughs> and I believe I can push him. No. That's my human. Hey. No, I'm gonna deny that. So there was three competition things, weren't there? There was one for best smile and one for best laugh. One for best hair. I know how to get the best laugh. I've got Uzo's voice box. Great Scott! Ha ha ha! You're purple! Uh, um... Yes? Um, well, don't you look good enough to... Uh, uh, don't you just look good enough to eat? I couldn't help noticing you ranting. And say, you look kind of familiar. Well, don't you just look good enough to eat? What's that supposed to mean? You're not a human sympathizer, are you? Me? No way. I think humans are the vilest creatures on the planet. Why, well, yes, I'm a firm believer in human rights. And I think I better be going now. Me? No way. Good, you had me worried. You know, I'm working on a way to get rid of the humans once and for all. So, what have you been plotting? Say, you look kind of familiar. And if excuse me, I've got something in the oven. So, what are you plotting? I'm building a shrinking ray, which I can use to shrink those pesky humans out of my sight for good. Tell me more about the shrinking ray of yours. Tell, Tell me, me more. more about this shrinking ray of yours. I call it the Diminuator. The biggest problem left is to design a trigger that doesn't require fingers. Say, you look kind of familiar. Say, you look kind of familiar. Of course I do, Nitwit. I'm Purple Tentacle, renowned world conqueror. 
They're the same purple tentacle who Are knew Doctor Fred. The same purple tentacle who knew Doctor Fred. Up on your ancient history, are you? Yes, I remember that insignificant insect. If you will excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know? Mm -hmm. eh? What chuckle, we got in here? Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. World domination plans. Have a look. <laughs> According to these, the tentacles control most of the world already. Saying it right next to him. I would like to open world domination plans. I don't want to disturb anything with Santa Claus over there eyeballing me. I don't want to disturb anything with okay, Santa. Okay. The fuck? There's nothing highlightable in here. Highly restricted judging area. Oh, very restricted. I can't. It's behind the glass. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang. Oh, that's how you'll get rid of that guard then. Only. With a food certificate for Club Tentacle. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Right. Okay. 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 So we could, let's go downstairs and see what the deal with um, with the man mummy is. The man mummy. Right, first things first. Let's tag him up. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not yet. Oh dear. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. Oh. Hmm. Maybe you can still use it. There they are. Right then. So like I say, we can get the the voice box thing. But we're gonna need a wig. Ah, uh, the teeth come from Washington, don't they? Oh, the horse. I can't remember which one. There we go. Oh. Oh, I thought that... Wait a minute. Use extension cord with window. There we go. But I don't think he'll let you in yet. Probably still complain, won't I? Because there's no humans running riot. I'm sorry, but no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escape... Oh, well, fuck. Humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. Maybe when the show starts, Yeah. Right, okay, let's go and explore upstairs with Bernard then. See if we get any other key items that jostle some memory of what we want to do. Checked out the ground floor. Yeah, let's go upstairs. In fact, I think there's a hamster in one of these. No, no, I think you put an hamster in one of these machines. No way. There's things in there that look like they've been there for years. Doesn't anyone ever clean this thing? I think you put it in there and it cryogenically freezes it. So it's still there in the future. Still begs the question why you actually fucking down the toilet. It has to be an inanimate object. Uh... Ah, the cupboard, you clearly they got you covered. Man, that is a monobrow. It's like, in paint, like 20 fucking pixel fucking line. Bro. <laughs> what we got in here then? Surveillance camera. Hi there. E. <laughs> <laughs> Let us use television. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today. For the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars, the number to call is one eight hundred Star Wars. As if it's one eight hundred Star Wars. This amazing <laughs> once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh, fickle fingers coin slot. What the fuck? Up too late? Try a fickle fingers fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's lying on someone. Oh, 
I made it worse. I can almost get it now, but Lardo is lying on the sleeve. I can't move him an inch. Well, the sweat's still there, but... My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. Sleeping convention here. Let's try talking to him. Ahem. Ahem. Late night? I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. Nice room you've got here. I had an uncle who snored as loud as you do. I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. He's worse than the fucking mummies. Nice room you've got here. It reminds me of the greeting card store I used to work at. Reminds me of a pack of cards I was very fond of. <laughs> Where on earth did you buy furnishings this color? I think he didn't do any of this. He's just a fucking reminds guest. Reminds me it? of the greeting card store I used to work at. I had an uncle who snored as loud I as you. An uncle who snored as loud as you do. The steelworks next door complained about the noise. He lived in California until he was declared an earthquake hazard, and he once inhaled a pillow. Once he inhaled a pillow. No joy from him. Thanks, me. you've been really helpful. I need me quarterback, me dime, whatever. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Oh, yeah, just do it off a phone, yeah. It's just two million dollars. Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. So maybe after you've sorted the funds out into the... That's how you'll order the diamond. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. Can't use those keys or can you? No. So you need to get off that sweater for whatever fucking reason. And... That's where you'll order the diamond. Fair enough. And the candy machine. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. I'm assuming that's a reference to... I never, I never actually... Um, I think I played Manic Mansion for about 10 or 15 minutes. Never actually completed that or even got far. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <laughs> oh. I can't even do this right. Disappearing ink. I definitely didn't nick that. I can't see it very well from here. Well, what the flag I gone? can't reach that from here. I can't see it very well from here. Picture of dogs playing poker. I can't see it very well from here. It's pretty small. Let's just talk to Dwayne. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Gee, you look depressed. Maybe I can help cheer you up. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? Um, gee, you look depressed. Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? Oh, don't talk about Brainiac, man. Injustice 2. Well, I can't wait. What? <laughs> what? Um, the stooped shoulders and long face, the glassy look in your eyes, the gun was a good tip-off. The gun was a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design ideas. What did you say your job was again? And maybe I can help cheer you up. I like your design, I ideas. Your design ideas. Reverse 3D glasses. Well, I didn't mean you. Well. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. 
Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? Maybe some calisthenics would help. And let's discuss philosopher. That's well, some good old calisthenics. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Oh, sorry. Calisthenics. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Ugh. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Ugh. Philosophy, Let's then. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Oof. Oh, I don't know. Somebody had some interesting ideas along those lines. I don't know who it was, but... Would you say that existence constitutes purpose? Have you read Camus? Nietzsche had some interesting ideas along Nietzsche. those lines. Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Nice music they pipe in here, eh? Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classic series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Uh, never mind. I want this flag gone. When you pull the trigger, a humorous flag is propelled out of the barrel on a stick and unfurls. I can't reach that from here. Hi. Please, I'm too depressed to talk. Uh. Not funny enough. Disappearing ink. Not funny enough. Not funny enough. Oh, wait, can you give the chattering teeth to... Will they work with the... Oh, no, no, no. I'm sure you've got to use them with Hoge in this time period. Disappearing ink with help on the side? Not funny enough. Disappearing ink with... Flyer? Not funny enough. Textbook? Not funny Apparently enough. Apparently none of this is funny enough. Not funny enough. Okay, let's come back to him later. Maybe, yeah. Close saying there, maybe use it on the Constitution. Green! A green technical. Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? It did. Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Want to help me save the world? Or how's your new band doing? How's your new band doing? How's your new band doing? I'm interested. Green tea oh, and yeah. sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Is there a misbehaving cat? Yeah, she keeps attacking my clothes. <laughs> a cat that attacks clothing? <laughs> Intoxicating three-part vocal harmony, provocative lyrical content, carefully crafted melody, and distinctive counterpoint. And really, which quality is that? You know, really, I'm which quality is that? Terrible musical. Volume, man, volume. We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Um, when you were looking for a new guitarist a while back, are you working on an album? Have you gotten any airplay? Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations, but we have a huge following in the club scene. Well, not bad. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. Nice. We can generate a lot more sound that way. Oh yeah, I bet. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Want to help me save the world? Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. <laughs> How's the tentacle sit in a beanbag How chair? How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. Can you actually use that Can bowling ball? Can you actually ball? use that bowling ball? 
No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. This is right, Ben out here about not having fingers. Want to help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. What do you suppose Purple's up to what now? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments in small animals? That's what I was talking about. Designing a miniaturization room. Or pushing old ladies down the stairs. Pushing old ladies down the stairs? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. <gasps> well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man. B-Man? Hey! What's up, Bernard? Um, not much, actually. Still saving the world and all that. Well, good luck, B-Man. Oh, well, good luck, then. Let us pick up bowling ball. It looks too heavy for me to pick up. What we got in here, then? Well, bowling ball, world domination plans, mouse hole, speaker. Other speaker. Videotape. Fucking take that shit. There's no label. It's probably blank. Mine. 